a 3D printer might one day save your life. At least that's what universities, hospitals, and labs are betting on. Welcome to the world of 3D printed organs. It sounds crazy, maybe even made up, but the technology is closer than you think. Instead of ink, a startup called Organovo uses human cells to print liver tissue for studies that could fine-tune clinical drug trials. Scientists at Harvard have reportedly printed hollow tissue structures to build the beginnings of blood vessels. And doctors at the University of Michigan have developed and surgically inserted 3D printed tracheal devices. Now, this is just the beginning. The ultimate goal is to create a fully functional organ, a thumping heart, or a self-inflating lung. It's a development that could solve the problem of long waiting lists for organ transplants. By using a patient's own cells, there's also the hope that bioprinted organs could lower the risk of a patient's body rejecting a transplant. But not everyone is in favor of these advancements. Critics question the technology's rapid development and quality control. Limits in printing technology can also restrict the sizes of objects from being too big or too small. And in the lab, printers can clog up, just like the one you have in your home office. Unlike toner cartridges, human cells have a relatively short shelf life. Now, in the end, many believe that a fully functioning organ, we're talking a complex network of vessels, nerves, cells, is still decades away. So for now, organs on demand will have to wait. But in the meantime, hospitals, labs, and universities across the country will keep their printers set for success, one layer at a time.